home. She's all built. So, as you can see, we have electrics in. Um, ESE is purely up here because I'm going to have to solder some new wires on because they won't reach up to the motor. Um, so I can't have it down it's in the position where it's meant to be. It can fit here. The trouble is, is that it's very... The body's literally right on that part there, but um, because we're going to be changing a few things around on this, I'm not too bothered at the moment. Uh, and hopefully, once I get some new wires on the AC, we'll be able to drop it in its original spot. But yeah, it's all done. Um, absolutely beautiful build. So obviously, we've got JC Racing wheels on and tyres which obviously points that we're going on carpet with her. But, yeah, um, I know a lot of people comment on the price on this, um, but you've got to bear in mind, you get all the alloy parts, so your steering link, that's alloy. I think the steering posts come alloy anyway. Um, your chassis posts, all the same colour. Um, you get this part here, it's hard to see, but the little back chassis brace or whatever, I think alone that's that's almost like a £50 part, £40-£50 part. Um, all this, your motor plate, it's all in the same colour, so it all matches. Um, not to mention the fact that you've got the carbon fibre chassis on top deck. Obviously, you don't get an under tray. Penguin models do an under tray that will fit this chassis. Um, I don't know about the body because obviously it is a slightly different body, but I think it will be the same shape. Um, but yeah, absolutely great to build. Obviously, you've got ball diffs. So they're not the ideal thing for carpet really, but they do work. Um, but once we go back outdoors, we'll be racing on grass, so that won't be an issue. Um, build's absolutely fine. So... Upgrade wise, you'll be able to see I've got the the rear anti roll bar, the front anti roll bar. It all comes as a, it comes as a set. So your part number for that is OTW one three five. And like I say, that's a full kit. Comes with everything. You get your instructions on how to fit it. So obviously you've got to remove the bumper, the front plate, it slots in the little gap behind. Um, and then it just slides into the ball stud. So originally I didn't fit these because I, I obviously didn't have the anti roll bar on. There was no point, but I've had to fit them. They're easy to fit even after. And then the rear, you just got to pull the rear shock tower off, and it just bolts up behind because you can't get to these these bolts, and it just goes on. Um, obviously, because I've gone six hundred weight front 500 rear it's quite stiff so it's probably not as effective until it gets softened up a little bit um, the eagle eyed amongst you will notice the battery tray this is carbon um, this is a cosworks part and i've seen some of their stuff and it looks absolutely amazing um, but that's your part number kilo oscar sierra 04323 um, and again, it comes with a little instruction booklet on how to fit it, which I've put away somewhere and I can't find, but it's literally just, it screws through. So it goes into the two holes at the far. So normally you'd use those two holes or those two holes so you can move the battery position. Um, it just sits in there. It's It's a lot better for getting a LiPo in because this now doesn't sit over where the terminals are going to be. Um, you also got a little post on the back there. Um, I don't know really about this side because obviously you've got to slide it in. So I guess you just have to give that a little nip up once you've got your battery in. But to be honest, I think even just these are going to hold it in securely enough. But yeah, you may have a little bit of foam on there, but I've not put it on because I can literally only just get the batteries that I've got through that gap. But I'm not too bothered. Because, like I said, there's going to be a few changes coming to this. But, yeah, absolutely love it. Um, you do get UJs on the front. 
So you've got your universals on the front in there. Uh, the back just comes with dog bones. Oops, sorry about that. So I don't know if it'll show up. But yeah, you've got your dog bones in the back there. Um, it's not an issue, they're in the back. It's the front ones where you're going to need them, if, if anything. But yeah, it is a short wheelbase thing still. It's exactly the same wheelbase as the original mid. Um, I've compared it to another mid and it is absolutely identical. Um, I can't say anything about width wise because obviously I've got different wheels and tyres on so I wouldn't like to say but obviously compared to the Ultima and the Ultima even has a, a, a slightly shorter wheelbase but that's a good 15mm shorter than the, the Ultima. Um, yeah, they do drive really well. They're very... I think a lot of people drive and say that they're very twitchy, which obviously because it's a short wheelbase, it's going to be. But stay tuned and you'll see what's going to happen to that. But as it is as now, we're going to Potteries on the, I think it's the 28th of December. We're going to run it as it is in its standard form, see how she goes. And then in the new year, we're going to be upgrading. So, yeah, if you haven't built yours already, you're in for a treat. It's a really nice kit. Um, I know a lot of you, and you get moaned at, you're going to leave it on the shelf. It's your car, do with it whatever you want. If you want to leave it in the box, leave it in the box. If you want to build it, leave it on the shelf, leave it on the shelf. I've got lots of cars that sit on the shelf because you can only drive one at a time as well. But hope you all have a good Christmas and uh, a good New Year. And, uh, yeah, tune back. 29th, I should have the video out from how it goes at Potteries. We'll see how she goes. And then uh, stay tuned to see what happens. Cheers, guys.